Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm here with House Beautiful to show you how to make a Roman blind. The first thing that we're going to do is cut our fabric. You're going to take the fabric that's the front of the blind and you're going to cut it three inches wider than your window and six inches longer than your window. In addition to your drapery fabric, you're going to want to pick a lining fabric and you're going to cut it the same length as your drapery fabric and one inch narrower than your window. We're going to lay the lining fabric on top of it and then I'm just going to pin loosely down the side and run it through the sewing machine. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to pin, you're going to make these two meet. So the other edge and the other lining fabric, and we're gonna sew it in the exact same way. Okay, so now I'm ironing down the edges, and the point of the ironing is that I'm creating the edge of the curtain. So these wooden dowels have been cut to be a quarter inch narrower than my window, and now I'm gonna create some pockets for them. So I'm just taking a piece of lining fabric. I'm roughly measuring that my dowel can fit nice and snugly in there, like this. And then I'm gonna iron this down and I'm gonna sew. Now that I've run it through the machine and I want three pockets for all three wooden dowels, I'm also gonna cut the metal rod down to the same length. These wooden dowels are what make the pleats in your shade. And you want the middle ones to be the same distance apart from one another. So the general rule of thumb is that they should be eight to 10 inches apart. And you wanna divide that in half and add an inch to get the bottom. Complicated, but doable. I'm gonna adhere the stitch witchery to the pocket first. And I'm gonna do that by passing the iron over it in the air because it tends to jump. Now that these are attached to each other, I'm just gonna lay it across and iron it down. So now this pocket is attached to the curtain. Once you've put your pockets on with the stitch witchery, you're just gonna slide the wooden dowels into the pockets. Perfect. So now for your moment of truth, you're gonna turn the cart curtain inside out, which is actually right side in. So now, you're almost there. So now that you've very excitedly turned it right side in, you're gonna mark on each dowel, and then you wanna mark two and a half inches in on each edge. So two and a half inches. Okay, so now we're gonna attach our sew-in rings. You're gonna take a ring, and you're gonna attach it to the lining of the fabric. You're gonna do this for all nine rings. So now that I've secured each of the 12 sew-in rings, it's time to repair the pocket for the metal rod. So the metal rod essentially weighs down the bottom of the curtain, which allows the pleats to align well. Fold this up two and a half inches from the bottom and run my sewing machine down the seam, making sure to leave the sides open so that I can slide in the metal rod. I've taken my piece of wood, which is gonna secure it to the top of the window, and I've drilled three holes that line up with my sew-in rings. And then I've added an extra eye hook to the edge that I want the curtain to pull up on. So I'm gonna measure from the bottom of my curtain the length, and I'm gonna secure this piece of wood tightly to the curtain with a staple gun. Okay, we're on the, the final stretch. So now we're putting our cord through. So, what you're gonna do is take your cord and run it through the first eye hook, through this one, through here, through here, and then I'm gonna run it down the first row. One, two, three, four, and I'm going to secure it Now, I'm gonna do it all again. So same thing. I'm gonna run it through the top eye hook. Now that I've trimmed it, you're gonna end up with three separate strings. And then this time, I'm gonna go down the middle row. So one, two, three, four. And 
double knot and make sure that it is roughly the same length as this side. This one's a little longer. Now, I'm gonna do it for a third time. So I'm gonna start at the top, just go through the first and second eye hook. Get myself some room to play with and then I'm gonna go down this, this side. All right, so now you have three of the same length and you're just gonna tie them in a knot and if you were to do some sort of cover, you would put it here. And now you're ready to hang your blind. Here we go. Okay, so I've just installed my Roman blind. I used the two wood screw holes I made before um, as a guide and then I screwed them into the window frame. The first couple of times that you use your Roman blind, you're gonna wanna train your fabric. So here we go. And there you go. All right, so there you have it. You can put some hardware on here to smarten it up, and then you know how to make a Roman blind. Enjoy making them for your whole house.